You're watching Tab and Blakey's trip from Hobart to Flinders Island aboard our Simpson Windwood called Pelican. We've owned her for about four years and we've recently upgraded all our electronics, outboards and sails to start travelling further afield and experience more of what Tasmania has to offer. We hope you enjoy watching our video. Getting the weather uh, is going to be a challenge for some of the spots when we go away. Um, I use Predict Wind just because I like the colours red danger um, also used uh, windy uh, which I think is really good for tides and there's heaps of others I think they're mostly all very similar it's just really the preferences that you like so um, getting the weather yeah so I needed to probably try to find a way to get a better signal so I bought a signal booster and we'll see how that goes so one of my concerns is getting the weather far away so I want to bought a signal booster I'm going to install this aerial and over here on the back of the boat. I hope that gives us enough signal, but I'm only going to just leave the wires here for now. And because uh, it may need to go up fast. When well, you're 6 foot 6, 120 kilo, it doesn't sound like much fun. See if it works here first. So we got up at about 7 o'clock this morning and there's a very light breeze. Derwent. Now we've got out to the front of the Derwent. It's sort of very light, probably easterly. We have to change around to a southerly in the middle of the night, so we're aiming to get at least to Denali, maybe to Mariah Island. They're motoring at the moment. As you can see, it's pretty calm. So we've got the aerial installed. I'm trying to wire back into the unit at the moment through here. It works. I'll run it properly. So a very important part of the day, restocking the alcohol fridge. <laughs> We've got ourselves a... You know, you've, got, you've got platter stuff behind there and cups and stuff too. Brass monkey fridge. It's awesome. So this side we've got set up as a fridge, mainly with grog. <laughs> and water, there are some... There's some milk. There's some milk and some... Bits and, and pieces some spinach of food. just to look like we're very healthy. <laughs> that side, and then this is the freezer side, and that's staying. We've got we've got a heap of food in there, a heap of food. So it's staying nice and frozen. So cool. it's great. Mm, got our backup generator there if we need to charge up stuff. The snake was meant All to keep tools. the birds away. Yes, this is my workshop. Tools and we've got a brand new battery charger here to install in case we need it. Charge the batteries with the generator. And this is all that food. We probably could put it all away in little cupboards and nooks, but as soon as they know I'm sleeping on this side, this is our well, junk room. Games? Yes, games, board games, games squatter, trivial pursuit. Chest, which Tabitha is really good at. Skip by. And, oh. A bit of a swell, but not much. Just coming up on Sloven Island, Sloven Beach over there in the corner. And over that way is Dunnally Canal. Straight up through there be the airport, Seven Mile Beach. making herself a coffee. The window open, this is actually quite warm. This is our new fern phone booster, which looks to be working quite well with the aerial out there. And it's boosting a signal and I think it's boosted it by two bars at the moment out here. It's great. Hopefully it works up the coast. Hopefully navigated us through the all the leads out to the Boomer Bay side of the canal. We've just gone around the last marker there. Not out there. Nah. So when we get out this way, we've got to hug the shore on this side. Because that side's really shallow. You can see it's not that deep in the hippies. We 
come out around this corner or it's right on. for about an hour, I reckon. Very calm in here now. Yeah, it's beautiful in here now. Yeah, it's crazy. So we, there was only two boats in here when we got here, the yacht over there and ourselves. And now we've got another friend there and a like dinghies, or big, like big dinghies, right up in there. We can't get in there, it's too shallow for us. Yes, Kent and Bruce. Yeah. It's a couple of professional fishermen have rang to see where we are and ask how we are, which is lovely. Always good to get some backup on the weather. So normally we'd anchor up over that side because of the way the weather's gonna come during the middle of the night. We're here. And it's not very deep. About six metres, was it? No, it wasn't even that much. About four and a half. I got a D generator running over there, you can hear it. But he stink boats. Mm. Not like us petrol people don't. Uh, sail people. Yeah. 